Hello everyone, welcome to my YouTube channel. This problem is called Risk Analysis and Capital Budgeting in chapter. In this, you will get many types of methods of calculating risk. In that first, let us solve the problems on Risk Adjusted Discount Rate Approach. So the question is on the screen. A Company Limited is considering the purchase of a new investment. Two alternative investments are available that is A and B costing 1 lakh. So 1 lakh is original investment. Cash flows are expected to be as follows. So they have given the cash fl uh, flows for 4 years for cash flow A and cash flow B separate. That means there are two alternatives which they have told in the question. The company has a target rate of return 10% and a risk free return. Target return and 10% or risk skill dale barate. Risk premium and additional risk is 2% and 8% and the cash flow A 2% cash flow B 8% respectively. Which project should be preferred for investment? So let us try to solve this problem. So first let us solve for cash flow A. Modulo cash flow A ke solve maana. First the risk adjusted discount rate A no na calculate maan bhe Step 1 we have to calculate risk adjusted discount rate. So there is a formula to find out the risk adjusted discount rate that is risk free return plus risk premium. So here risk free is 10% and for cash flow A risk premium is 2%. So you will get RADR that is risk adjusted discount rate that is 12%. This is required for us. So now let us calculate the NPV. Let us calculate NPV. So to calculate NPV, we have to use a table consisting of four columns. What are those four columns? First column is year, second column is cash flow, third column is discount rate and fourth column is present value. So total four years data we are having. So I will write all the four years data here. So if you see four years cash flow they have given for cash flow A. I will write all the 4 years cash flow. Now I need to take the discount rate for 12%. You should know by this time how to take this discount rate. So I need not explain it again. So I have to take the discount rate. Now multiply each cash flow with this discount rate. So 40,000 into 0 0.893 will be 35,720. 35,000 into 0.797 will be 27,895. 25,000 into 0 0.712 will be 17,830 and 20,000 into 0.636 will be 12,720. When you add everything, you will get the total present value that is 94,135. From this, you have to subtract the original investment. So in question they have given costing 1 lakh so that is your original investment if you subtract that you get a negative NPV that is 5865 this is for cash flow A. now same thing we have to calculate for cash flow B so the risk free return is 10% but here the risk premium is 8% it is not 2% it is 8% so we will get the risk adjusted discount rate that is 18% using this discount rate we need to calculate ENPV so same 4 columns I will take so 4 years data we have and the cash flow for the cash flow we have to refer question that is 50,000, 40,000, 30,000 and 30,000 so discount rate so you have to calculate the discount rate for 18 percent so when you multiply these two column cash flow column and discount rate column you will get the present value as follows so when you add all the present values you will get the total pv that is 1 lakh 10910 from that the original investment is 1 lakh if you subtract the original investment you will get the npv that is 10910 if you see here cash flow A has a negative NPV and cash flow B has a positive NPV. So which one has to be preferred? The positive NPV has to be preferred. So cash flow B will be preferred. So you have, you have to write a comment that cash flow B is preferred since it has a positive NPV. This is how we need to solve the problem. Hope you have understood how to solve the problem. In my further videos, I'll come back with some more problems related to risk adjusted discount rate approach.